Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris and today we're going to be checking out the new KSP update. This is 0.24. So let's get straight to it. One of the new implementations to KSP is 64-bit. Now 64-bit only works if you have 4 gigabytes worth of RAM or more. Now in order to control that, you need to go to your KSP launcher and go to the settings down here, advanced, and right here you see the option. If this option is selected, 64-bit will be working. If it is off, it will, it will revert back to 32-bit. So I'm gonna have that on 64-bit, yeah. Now there has been a change with the profiles that we can create. If I go ahead and start a new profile, and I can name the profile as, as I used to be able to, blah, blah, blah. You see three options. Now before there used to be two, but now there's three. So we see the first option, sandbox, the good old fashioned sandbox, as normal as it used to be. We have science, which is the actual new and old in a way. And we also have career mode, which is new and old at the same time. And I'll explain science. Science is basically, as it says down here, the classic career mode. So the way career mode used to be in uh, 0.23.5 is what this option enables. Now this career mode down here is the implementation of contracts mixed in with science. So yeah, this is the one that you wanna uh, select for, for this new update. And on top of that, if you go ahead and check out flags, there are some new flags, which is sort of a, a minor implementation, but whatever. <laughs> So ooh, what's that? The experimental engineer. I like that one. I'm going to select that. <laughs> All right, so let's get to it. All right, so as you can see on the top here, we have a new UI and each one has a different purpose. This first one is for budgets. Now budgets is dependent upon well, how much money we have in the bank account. So if you are buying a rocket, you know, spend parts on a rocket and its resources, this budget will go down. If you accomplish missions through the contracts, then that budget will go up. Now that's only if you accomplish. And this one here is our, I believe it's called our reputation. So depending upon, I believe it's if we kill Kerbals or not, if we save a Kerbal, reputation go up, if kill Kerbals go down. I believe that's how that works, although I haven't exactly tested it. And this one here is the good old fashioned science. And we all know about science, so we'll skip that. And if you look down here, if I click go back to menu, you see a new option, which is really, really cool. I'm so going to use it so much. You have the ability of having multiple saves now. So, and the reason why this is really cool is if I were to go to a planet, so for example, Duna, I would save each process of going to Duna. For instance, if I get into orbit around Kerbin, I will save that. If I go around Duna, get into orbit around Duna, I save that, land on Duna, save that. And whenever I want, I can revert back to one of those saves. So I can save this, save, and I can go do this. You can also click escape as a shortcut, and then save, blah, 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 save. <laughs> I'm just spamming things. Load, and there we go. Here's our new save. So you can go back to any one of them that you like. Now there is an, a new building that we can actually click now. This is the mission control. <laughs> and we get spanned by that noise. <laughs> Damn Kerbal, Gene Kerman, man, so noisy. Turn down the volume. Uh, anyway, this is where we can select our our missions. And mm -hmm. you know, these are where all the, damn, this guy's noisy. Better turn down the volume later on, <laughs> that's for sure. And we can select any one of these contracts. And once we do these contracts, we can earn money and lose money if we fail, of course. So that's. That's quite a, quite a lot, as you can see. Look at that. That will increase our budget, and our budget is up here, as I mentioned before. So that will go up, and this is for our science. That will increase. And this here, I believe this here is for our reputation. So 11 should move to the left, if I, if I have that right. Or green, I'm not too sure. I haven't tested it. But anyway, I want to do, I want to do this. So I'm going to accept that contract, and then we'll go. So now that contract has disappeared from here, right? Well, it's now in the active tab, as you can see. Now, once I do this contract, the contract will then be available in the archives. And of course, it will tell you if you've failed, canceled, or completed the, the contract. So, so cool. And I'm gonna do this one here. This is the most basic stuff. Yep, I'll just do that. So let's go back, pop over here to the VAB. Let's make something 
make something basic. I'm sure some of you have already seen this stuff and check a look at that. Look at that logo. Look at that experimental engineering. So cool. Uh, well done to the creator of that, whoever that was. I remember the logo op the ability to create logos was, was, a. Uh, Available to us through I believe it was Facebook. Yeah, I believe the dev team was like hey make us our logo and then a whole bunch of people made logos Yeah, so that's just one of them. And I think this should get us there and on top of that interestingly enough if we were to Break this rocket because this rocket is actually costing us money from our budget at the bottom here so this is our how much we started off with and this is how much we have we have taken up from the budget. So if I move that, you see how the budget goes down? Because I'm adding a part, it costs money. And on top of that, I saw this, it's really cool. Uh, if you adjust liquid fuel, it also adjusts the budget. So it adjusts how much we're gonna spend on this specific rocket. That's really useful, isn't it? Uh, also, what I wanna do is have a parachute. So. See, the thing is, you can't actually smash things now, because if you do, that will take, uh, that will sort of make you lose out on, on money that can be recovered. Now, not all of it will be recovered, but you can recover some money if you don't crash your rocket or, you know, and don't forget, don't kill your Kerbals. That's a no-no now, so that's really unfortunate. Can't kill them. And what I want to do is, hmm, I either shrink this or make these pretend landing struts, which I, I probably will do that. <laughs> Do this so that in case we, I don't want to kill the Kerbals or anything. Oh great, uh, 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 that clipping. You didn't see anything. <laughs> Let's pop that down there and I think this should work. Yeah, it might weigh it down a little, but that'll do. Let's name this Troll and let's go save. Staging is good. Cost is so pricey and let's launch this thing. Do do do. Hopefully we don't destroy it. Okay, and I do believe once this loads, we should see the contracts that we selected. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So these are the two contracts. We selected the launch vessel and the altitude. Ah, oh, my brother's so noisy. Anyway, I'm just gonna launch this, throttle up the maximum, and notice uh, when we just launched this, when we just started off, notice how the throttle was around 50%. Uh, that's a new feature now, so you know, that's quite useful in a way, but you know, you can still throw it up yourself to 100% as we all do. I'm gonna space bar this, check it out, and look at that, we've just achieved that new contract. We've earned whatever but extra money we wanted, and this is science. I believe this is how much science we've just collected on this mission. So cool. And we're waiting on the next one, we have to reach 5,000 meters. We have 3,000 meters so far, 4,000. And 5,000, okay. Now here's something else that I saw. I was reading the readme file that comes with KSP once you upload it. Uh, it actually talks about how, I think it does say it there. I remember us reading it somewhere, where depending upon where you recover your vessel will depend upon how much you can recover when it comes to money. So if I was to recover this really far away from from Kerbin, or somewhere around Kerbin that's really far, then you would, wouldn't would be able to recover as much money as you would if you were very close to the space center, for instance. And I'm yet to test this stuff out, so I'm looking forward to this. And let's go, let's time up this. Oh, I love the clouds. And that's not a new feature, by the way. This is uh, part of the Astronomer's Visual Pack mod that I'm using. And I'm gonna space bar this. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Not tar bombing, good. It's always good to double check. And there we go. Now we have used up fuel and that's obviously gonna cut into our money. We won't be able to recover the lost fuel, that's for sure. We are moving at 12 meters per second. And I do believe if we do crash at 12 meters per second, this engine will smash, which is why I've got these things here. These, as I call them, strut blocks. <laughs> because they look like struts in a way. And hopefully, oh great, we're gonna be on a hill. No, 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 uh, it's not gonna tip over, is it? I hope not. No, no, oh, what? That, that's unfair. Ha I can't believe we just lost that, even with our extra protection. Well, that's, 
I'm, I'm just going. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna, just going to recover the vessel. And let's check out what new options are available to us. Dun, 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 dun. And there we go. This is actually, this is old. Old stuff. Okay, so this is how much science we earned. So 5.0. That's decent. Right, we have a total of 10 now. Uh, we go to the parts. We can see uh, the command part, part value. Okay, so this is how much the part cost. And this would be, I'm assuming this is how much we, I, we were able to recover. I could be wrong. Wait, let me see, let me see. Wait, 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 I haven't exactly tested this. Uh, I think it's either one, or maybe this is how much we're able to recover. Yeah, that, that seems a little bit realistic. Either way, you can figure it out. <laughs> Korea, and this is who we had aboard. Jebediah, of course, and here is our reputation. I do believe our reputation has increased. Maybe it's decreased. Uh, that's definitely increased. Okay, I'm more new to this stuff. Let's go here, and I'm gonna buy the the very first tech. This is our start. Go here, research to buy some parts. And notice that each part actually has a cost to it now. So you can go ahead and do that. And there we go. <laughs> we just spent our money. Was it worth it? Probably not. Okay, and we have the science archives. So depending on I believe where we get science, it will show. So if I get science from Kerbin, it actually shows, as you can see. And actually, you haven't done this before, but what does this tick do? Nothing. Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, and something else I just noticed. Now, once you click this thing, which actually looks like some sort of uh, signal, you'll see these two contract options. If you click one of them, it will actually tell you, it will say, well done. Yeah, it will tell you which contract you you completed. And if you fail them, I wonder which one, I wonder what it would show. Probably it wouldn't say well done or anything like that. <laughs> and finally, we have a couple new parts that have been implemented. Uh, I wouldn't consider them a game changer, but they are there for whoever wants to use them. So let's pop, uh, let's get one of these guys here. Oh great, we're going to make a rocket or something, are we? You know what, let's not do that. Let's, let's start off with this. And let's go ahead and check out. Here it is. Okay. Oh, no, nope, there it is. Okay. So there have been changes to the engine Natele, Nacelle, it's Nacelle, and the radial engine body. And I actually noticed this while I was browsing through the tabs. Uh, I noticed that this is upside down or something. This is upside down, right? Confirm with me if that's true, because didn't it used to be like that? Isn't that the right way? I think it is. Hmm. Something's changed because, you know, everything is from the top to bottom. So this is, is like that. Have you noticed, right? Everything's in the right way. But this is backwards. Is that just me? Or is that wrong? <laughs> okay. Well, that's just something to think about. It's a minor thing. But uh, these parts both have liquid fuel in them. And it's not very much. It can help you in some way if you... If you <laughs> this is upside down, isn't it? Okay. Uh, so... Instead of using the circling intake or ram air intake, you can use these now with the addition of the liquid fuel that comes with them. Uh, but the thing is they don't have very much liquid fuel. And if you were to compare them with another part such as uh, this liquid fuel thing, liquid fuel tank, uh, you would notice that there is a lot more fuel here. There's 150 fuel here than 40. So that's a difference of 110. So this one has 110 more fuel than this one. So is it worth it? Not entirely sure. Uh, it just depends on what you guys are doing. Uh, I certainly won't be using these parts. <laughs> I won't be using them. Uh, but that's just my own personal opinion. If you want to use them for compactness, you can. But I think it might, might weigh down your craft a little bit. So I'm going to make this now, finally. And let's check out a couple new control mechanisms. Uh, we have this monopropellant engine, which I was really surprised to hear about. We can fuel this by using monopropellant. So I'm going to pop that down there and go down here. You'd see that there is 20 thrust. has a thrust of 20. If you compare that, this little engine here has 4.0. This is quite high. 20 thrust. I was very, very... And this is quite large, actually. This is my first time using it, by the way. I'm as surprised as you are. <laughs> as you are, yeah... Wow, that, that looks cool. Okay, this you, you can use that to power your rockets now, but I wouldn't think it's as efficient as using an actual engine that consumes liquid fuel. And I want to also 
Mm, I want to remove that monopropellant because that's a waste. Yeah. And make sure you think about the monopropellant thing when you are using career mode stuff because it's sort of a waste. Although I guess you can recover it giving that you don't smash your command pod. So um, I probably won't bother naming this. We're going to launch it. Let's see how this thing goes. Okay. Wow. Well, what's this? Resources. Okay. We see the little monopropellant. I want to click that. We sort of remove the monopropellant, although we shouldn't really shouldn't have since these these engines consume monopropellant. That would have been good to have. But anyway, uh, I do believe that if you mm, let's see, yeah, you spacebar it. Yes. Okay. So it works just like normal. Yeah, it works just like normal fuel. And if I throttle down, that will throttle that down as well. So I guess the perfect, one of the good purposes of this is for maybe docking, I think. I would have to test that out. And let's check a look. Let's take a look at the monopropellant usage. It's going, taking a while, although I think we need a couple more in order to boost this up. Here we are. I've added a couple more of these engines. And let us run it all up. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, well, this ain't working, but... I have a way of doing it. Where is it? Where is it? At gravity. There we go. <laughs> that works. And there we go. So I guess don't use this in the atmosphere. Uh, maybe in space it would be good. In fact, we're still accelerating. Hmm. I turned off gravity. Yeah, okay. There we go. We can accelerate. We're accelerating now. Good. All right. It works in the atmosphere. I guess it was just the, the initial liftoff uh, was, was a little bit difficult for this thing. But there we go. <laughs> We're in the air. Resources are drained. Wow, it really does consume quite a lot. Okay, I don't advise to use this uh, whilst still in the atmosphere. Only in space. Yep. And finally, we have a new part, which is the Werner engine. This is essentially another way of controlling your rocket or aircraft. It is much more powerful than the previous things that we used to use, such as the RCS port thruster block. Now, this has a thrust power of 1.0. This very thing, 1.0. Thrust block, 1.0. The Werner engine, 12. That's a significant difference of 11.0. That's very, very high. When I first heard of it, I thought, mm, isn't that a little bit too high? But you know what, to tell you the truth, it's not that high. And I did hear from multiple resources that it is advised to use this in uh, lower altitudes, which probably is true. I haven't tested this out too much, but let's see how it goes. Spacebar, and you can click RCS, and then you can move your rocket. Now, the one disadvantage, or someone might consider it an advantage, is that these thrust blocks, well, these things, Werner engines, they use, have a guess, liquid fuel. So if I was to turn off these engines, and move, notice how the liquid fuel and oxidizer is being drained. I, I guess if you have a lot of extra fuel, it's good to have these. You wouldn't need too many. I've got quite a lot on this thing. And as you can see, it's it's fairly uh, easily controllable. And it's gonna balance, hopefully it balances itself out. Let's see. Yeah, all right, it seems to be working. <laughs> all right, guys, well, I guess this ends it uh, for the update video. And as a quick, as a little bit of a quick uh, info, very soon I will be making, well, playing career mode. I'll be doing crew mode from, from the beginning. It's because I really want to see all these contracts. So if you want to check that stuff out, uh, bear with me, because I really want to see all that cool new stuff that is meant for us to accomplish. So I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Take care. Bye.